Okay, um, let's work with another Bayes theorem problem. Uh, the problem says 70% of all burger chain stores, uh, big burger chain stores, decided to advertise in their local newspaper. Of those stores that advertise in their local paper, 60% had an increase in sales. Of those that did not advertise in the paper, 25% had an increase in sales. What is the probability that a randomly selected store with an increase in sales advertised in the newspaper? I will read each statement and we will come up with um, probably probability statements for them. The first prob uh, statement says 70% of all big burger chain stores decided to advertise. So if we designate a to be the, prob uh, the event of advertising, probability of A is 0 0.7. Then it says, of those chain stores that advertised in their local paper, so probability of given that they advertised, 60% had an increase in sales. So 0 0.6 had an increase in sales. Um, of those that did not advertise, probability given that you did not advertise. And I will put a bar on top of a letter to represent not or the complement of it. Probability of um, given that they didn't advertise, what is the probability that they had an increase in sales? That's 0 0.25 from statement of the problem. So now the question is, what is the probability that a randomly selected store with an increase in sales, so probability given that we have an increase in sales for a store, what is the probability that they in fact advertised? So that's what we're looking for. To start off our um, problem, let's go ahead and um, do um, the event for which we have a simple probability that would be advertise and not advertise. We know advertise is 0 0.7, so not advertise would have to be 0 0.3. Then we expand into our other uh, prob events, and that would have to be increase in sales and no increase in sales. Increase in sales and no increase in sales. Now we know given advertise, probability of increase in sales is 0 0.6. So this other one, which is uh, probability of no increase in sales given advertise, this one, would be 0 0.4. probability of increase in sales given that they didn't advertise is 0 0.25. And remember these are conditional probabilities. So if um, this branch is 0 0.25, this one will have to be 0 0.75. Now all we have to do is multiply them through if you multiply 0.7 time, times 0.6, you get 0 0.42, and that is probability of advertise and increase. Uh, 0.7 times 0.4 is 0 0.28, and that's the probability of advertise and no increase in sales. Um, this one, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 times 0.25 is 0 0.075, and that's the probability of um, uh, no advertising and increase in sales. And this last one would be um, actually 1 minus these three added up, because that would be the complement of all of those, or you can take 0.3 times 0.75, and that would be 0.225, and that's probability of no advertising and 
no increase in, in sales. But we want to know the probability of A given I. So why don't we flip the tree? If I flip the tree, now I'm going to start my analysis with increase in sales and no increase in sales. Then I want to expand off to the other uh, events. And those would be advertising or no advertising, advertising or no advertising. But remember, these are <coughs> conditional probabilities. So this is given i. This is given i bar. This, I'm sorry, this is given i also. And this one is given i bar. And this one is given i bar, or n no increase in sales. Um, to um, start putting numbers on the second tree, I have to start from the end. So the point 0.42 goes here. The point uh, 0.28 goes over here. Um, the point 0.075 goes here. And the point 0.225 goes here. And of course, I know they add up to 1. And of course, they add up to 1 over here also. Now, this I know because the two events that are involved on these sets of branches are I and A. So I know this is probability of I and A, which I found over here, 0.42, and I put it over here. The events that are indicated on this set of branches right here are I and A bar, or no advertising. So the joint probability is for I and A bar. And over here, I find I and A bar, and I see the value of 0.075, so I'm going to lift it and put it over here. Similarly, this one is probability of A and I bar, A and I bar. So over here, I'm going to find A and I bar. The probability is 0 0.28, and I'll put it over here. And this is the last one. This is probability of A bar and I bar, which is 0.225, and I put it over here. Now, um, these two end values add up to this one. And remember over here also, these two end values add up to this. 0.42 plus 0.28 gives you 0.7. And 0.075 plus 0.225 gives you 0.3. So all of these rules that apply here also apply here. Remember, these are simple probabilities. These are conditional probabilities. These are joint probabilities. Simple times conditional gives me joint. Here, simple times conditional gives me joint. And I already know what these simple probabilities are for increase in sales and no increase in sales. 0.42 plus 0.075 gives me 0 0.495. And this one would be 1 minus that. Or you can add 0.28 and 0.225 to get over here, 0.505. Now to compute these conditionals, all I have to do is take um, uh, the end value or the joint probability and divide it by the simple probability. So 0.42 divided by 0.495 gives me 0 0.85, which is the answer for this uh, problem, 0 0.85. So the probability uh, of advertising, given that you've had an increase in sale, is 0.85. So 85 there's a, an 85% chance that if you, incre if you had an increase in sales, um, you actually advertised. Um, this other one is 0.28 divided by 0.505. 
which is 0 0.55 round, uh, rounded. So this other one is this value. So essentially we're saying given that you, add, uh, that you had an increase in sales, um, you had an 85% chance of advertising, but given that you didn't have an increase in sales, you, you only there's only a 55% chance that you advertise. So clearly, mm, this is um, a good way to compare um, what the effect of one event is over the um, occurrence uh, of another. Uh, so that's that um, example for you. Thank you.